This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. I think we all could agree that we wish life came with a user manual when things get hard or we feel stuck. We don't know what to do. BetterHelp has trained therapists to help you guide you through those moments or those parts of life. And having a therapist is truly, truly so, so important. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash onlyfriends. That's betterhelp.com slash onlyfriends. This podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use code ONLYFRIENDS for free shipping and 20% off. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code onlyfriends at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code onlyfriends be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from manscaped your balls will thank you this podcast is sponsored by neutrophil so many people are affected by weak or thinning hair in fact 30 million women are impacted by weakened or thinning hair if you're among them know you're not alone and that there's a solution you can trust to deliver results in a clinical study 86 percent of women reported improved hair growth after after six months of using Nutrafol. 3,000 plus top doctors and stylists recommend Nutrafol as an effective and high quality solution for healthier hair. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code ONLYFRIENDS to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot Dot com promo code only friends welcome back to only friends oh my god i didn't even tell you this oh, well yeah welcome back <laughs> wait um i'm running on two and a half hours of sleep <gasps> and um we are here recording oh yeah we're um, at my we're at my house this time if but, you're watching yeah i just got back from mexico city went to a music festival and i met someone there um last night I think her name was meg okay i met so many people this weekend just like in general that i don't names are hard fully remember okay but i feel like she said meg i was like sitting down and she came over and she was like oh my god are you erin and i was like (laughs) yes and she was like i listen to your podcast every week on the way to work and i was like oh my god thank you so much and then she's like that is so crazy that you're just like here oh that's so nice i know i always like forget about it an angel and then i ran into her a few times because it was like the little artist area Mm -hmm. and um then i ran into her a few times like out in the world at the fest cute it's sorry this was like cutting out so oh, no if you hear me repeat Not it that's again. why no it's fine it's just, oh. yeah it's really cutting okay there we go I have to like, nope did it again have to hold it very specifically i can't wait till we have the little uh handles what are you looking at what is that water what? i keep thinking a cat is drinking i think it's the candle there's like a crackling oh, candle okay yeah it's crackling yeah um i forgot what i was saying but holding the microphone but before that but i truly can't wait till we have the arms again i know just because of this like staticky situation so if you hear me like cut in and out i'm really sorry but i'm really trying to avoid it i feel like it might be the like the cord honestly i think Um, it is these are so old oh they are yeah like we didn't we had these at home because tj's a musician (laughs) so i think he just had them for like forever yeah and then he had a whole drawer full of them and then he just like tried oh this one works this one no it's definitely the cord because when i move it it like fixes it she's just got to be like an old hacker lady i'm just squeezing (laughs) i feel like they're probably like not that expensive no we could probably easily just buy yeah. some <laughs> we're talking about how like we've been doing youtube for so long and we still don't understand anything to do yeah. with cameras or lighting or yeah anything. like today i was like do you have a tripod <laughs> i was like i do but does the plate are plates universal yeah there's like a one? thing that you screw into the camera and then you hook into the tripod and carly's like i can't find the plate and i was like 
could I use the one I have? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I looked it up. They're not universal. Yeah, we're big dodos, but. Yeah, but if you're watching, we were at my place. Yep. Um, there's too many people at Aaron's, so yeah. we were like, let's just do it here. Same couch though, so same vibes. It, you would never know. You would literally <laughs> never know. Aaron could just be like, oh yeah, I just like redid <laughs> behind the couch and you would have no idea. Yeah, we got rid of our whole kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, a be- it's a green screen. Yeah. We that just change it every week. We just have a green screen behind us. Yeah. So um, hopefully this um, looks okay. We're like, you know, fighting with daylight savings. So yeah, you know, it's going to be a I whole thing. I came in probably like an hour ago and I immediately just was like, here's all the tea. Yeah, no, we you. were gossiping for a solid hour and then Nolan had to get filled in. So then for literally an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's it was okay. necessary. This is helping me stay awake. Okay, good. Oh yeah, so you got two hours of sleep. <sighs> yes. Oh my God, thoughts and prayers. How did you, when you woke up, were you like, fuck? Yeah. I, that is the worst feeling in the entire world. I was like, not a happy camper this morning <laughs> because, you know when you like try to go to sleep so bad but you just like your body yeah. and your mind won't let you yep it was that and I we were both like pissed off last night because we were in our bed by like 1 a.m but we had been staying out every night because emo night had a party on Friday and Saturday until five in the morning so we were so used to staying up until five and then sleeping until like one or two in the yeah. afternoon to like get a full night's sleep and then like waking up doing a little day thing and then doing it again so then Sunday was our one day where it was like, we literally got up at 2.30. Oh my God. Like didn't leave the bed until like 3 p.m. And then like had our night, but it ended early because they didn't have a party. So we were like, okay, we're home. We can go to sleep and like get a nice <laughs> sleep best before feeling we ever. have to go to the airport. And then the both of us were just like, up all night it's like the feeling when like you close your eyes but then they just like are opening on their That's, own it's so fucking annoying and you're like and, just go to sleep and then you can't sleep because you're so stressed about going to sleep yeah and like we put on rain sounds <laughs> and we were just like we are not tired like we haven't even been up for 12 hours yet like should have gone to the pharmacia and gotten a little sleeping pill <laughs> oh girly we had a whole pharmacia up in our <laughs> up in our room <laughs> oh shit <laughs> uh, well it's funny because like while we so oh my god when we left for the festival on thursday I started getting, or uh, on Wednesday, yeah. I woke up and I was unwell. Like I yes. was like, a cold is brewing. And oh, I had like worst. a whole day on Wednesday. Especially before a trip. It's yeah. like my biggest nightmare is like, yeah. I'm going to get sick before a trip. Yeah. I knew it wasn't COVID because like I've had COVID a fair yeah, few like times. You know. I know what COVID is. I was like, this is a cold. I am so annoyed right now. And then by the end of the day, TJ's was a brewing. So then oh. we wake up on Thursday morning to go to the airport. And I was like, uh, I don't feel well, but then I like took some medication, whatever. I get to the airport, we get through security. We're sitting at like the lounge and I just start sobbing. And I was like, I don't think I could get on the plane. Oh, like, no. how am I going to do these parties? And then we have to go to Vegas on Wednesday. Like, it's just going to be so much. Like I was literally <laughs> sobbing in this lounge and I was like, I can't do it. And then literally i was like i made a plan in my head i was like i'll walk them to the gate oh i'm gonna <laughs> drive like- the car home well because tj was like maybe don't come then yeah. and like he felt like shit too but obviously like for him it was work yeah and so i was like i'll walk him to the gate and then i'll walk <laughs> over to the car because we parked at the airport i'll drive home i'll like rest for three days and be like good to go but I don't know what came over me. We got to the gate and I just like felt pressured to get on the like, plane. I'm just going. Not like by anybody, but I like something was just like, just, just get on the plane. Mm-hmm. And it was really weird. Cause I was like, I'm like set on not going. Yeah. <laughs> like I've already made this plan in my brain that I'm not going anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I got on the plane. What's <laughs> going on? And TJ had a fucking lay down seat and I'm uh, literally in the window seat next to these two like, 55 year old men oh no not the 55 <laughs> year old like, men oh god but i was very thankful that i did get a window seat yeah they just like rando assigned me after tj and my ticket got detached yeah that's so sad um but it's so quick it was a two hour 45 minute flight oh not bad yeah so did you feel sick like all weekend or did it just get better um uh friday so like we got we left thursday friday we literally well the whole incident so Thursday we get there and then we go out to dinner. Oh yes. I need to hear about this. Cause I and barely, I texted TJ or like DM'd him about it, but I don't know much. Yeah. So we, I don't know if I, we went to Mexico city. Yeah. And we landed literally quick change, go to a restaurant. So cute, like beautiful vibe. We're really feeling it. And for those of you who don't know, TJ has a deadly peanut allergy. Like we'll go into anaphylaxis if he eats one or like any peanut butter, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
So he makes sure to tell our waiter every time he orders something and he's speaking Spanish, like the waiter didn't really speak any English. Mm -hmm. And so he like said it in Spanish, like had it on his phone and like obviously checked all of the ingredients Mm -hmm. and like never said peanut. So anytime that he ordered something from him, he would tell him. And then he gets like another, he gets a bite of something and then he's got like a hive on his tongue. Well, he started like doing this thing with his throat and he was like, I can't tell if like my drink is just like spicy oh, weird. or if I'm having a reaction. Cause normally oh, he can God. tell right away. Yeah. He's like, oh, I just ate a peanut. Yeah. So it was like really like a slow burn thing. Yeah, slow burn. <laughs> but then he was like, is something on my tongue? And he like stuck his tongue out and there was like a little bump on it. So like, we all think it was a hive now, but then he was like, I think it's the drink. Cause normally it'll happen like- You'll know. Yeah. yeah. And we're then another waiter comes over who speaks like decently well English. And he's like, hey, I just want to double check. Like there are no peanuts in this dish, right? And he was like, no, no peanuts, nothing. And so we were like, okay, that's just like so weird. And then we pay the bill probably like 20, minutes has passed at this point and we're waiting outside and then he like starts he's like i th- i think i might be having oh a God. reaction but i still can't tell oh so God. then we get into the uber probably like five minutes later we're waiting and then that's when <gasps> his breathing starts oh my God. so he starts wheezing in the car but like hiding it from me here's the thing <laughs> about an allergy if you have an allergy like hiding be it. loud and be proud like hiding i don't it. He is so, he's like so embarrassed by it. And like, I guess I can't relate to it because I don't have have anything like that. Like I have an intolerance to seafood. Yeah, but but it's not like If you have like a deadly allergy, like scream it from the fucking rooftops. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you need to get that taken care of. Cause he's like, I don't wanna, I feel bad for the waitress. I'm like, well, they're gonna feel real bad if you're dead. Yeah. Like, and it's their fault. Did you have an EpiPen? Yes. Oh good. Did you use it? the first time he's ever used one. Really? It was horrifying. Really? So TJ is a stubborn little bitch and like refuses. <laughs> yeah, he like even when we're here in the United States, he's like I don't need to go. I don't need to go. And I'm like, "Well, maybe you do." Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why that is. If it's just like I just don't want to He doesn't want to come deal to it. with it. He's like, "I don't want to have to go to the hospital. I don't want to have to do <sighs> That's this." That's fair, but it's like so scary. Yeah, I'm like, so scared. "Okay, well, do you want to die?" Yeah. <laughs> like like which would we prefer here? So we get in the uber he starts doing wheezing and i'm like we have to go to the hospital yeah. he's like, i'm not going to the hospital i'm like okay and he's like i'm taking benadryl and i'm like why don't we just do your epipen right now uh-huh. and he was like no because then if i do the epipen i have to go to the hospital i'm like oh well oh, you that- have to go to the hospital after using an epipen mm-hmm. oh i didn't know that and um so he's like i'm just gonna take benadryl when we get back to the house by the time we get back to the hotel he's like his profusely sweating his face is like beet red his eyes are like bulging out he can barely fucking breathe and at this point i'm like on the verge of tears i'm like i mean yeah i'd be like like we're going no i'm like you look like you're about to die yeah and so i'm like carol can you go up with him to the room i'm gonna ask them where their nearest hospital is and thank god it was like two blocks away and he still was like i'm not going and like took benadryl and then i was like we're going to the hospital what does he think like would benadryl help it I, if he hadn't ingested it probably, yeah. but like, I think at that point he had eaten too much of whatever it was. Yeah. And so then I convince him, I'm like, we're going, we go to the hospital. And when we get there, <laughs> sorry, my cat is <laughs> meowing. <laughs> we get there and like, I, I don't even think I'm exaggerating when I say that this is probably the most traumatizing experience of my whole life. We get, like, I'm going to cry thinking about it. Oh my God. It was so scary. Well, especially when you're not in a country that you normally live in. And I've never seen him as bad as he was. Like, he couldn't even talk. Like, his voice was like, I can't, like, talk (gasps) like this. Like, and he, like, could not breathe. And, like, so he was in full anaphylaxis at this point. Oh my. Like, I didn't know if there was going to be an emergency department at this hospital. Like, we literally just, like, went. Uh And so we get into the hospital, like, running in. Like, he's in anaphylaxis. Like, he needs a doctor immediately. And it, first of all, beautiful hospital like i would have n- i looked at it and i was like okay, that's a go hospital off. like it was so clean like just like beautiful white walls the the waiting room was like so clean everything was so nice but like we went up to the counter and they would not acknowledge us because we were speaking english uh, and i that's like so naive of me i think like i've traveled internationally a mm-hmm. lot i've never been to mexico but i i feel like because every time i go somewhere else everyone can speak english so well yeah that i kind of just assumed that it would probably be like that, but it, 
nobody oh my gosh. spoke English. And so at this point, I'm like, Carol, you need to get your tour manager on the phone who is um, bilingual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She speaks Spanish. Like she's based in Mexico and like have them talk to her. Cause like they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even try. I was like trying to hand them my phone with like Google translate. And then we tried handing the phone. Oh my God. With it's like the, times a ticket. No, yeah. We tried handing the phone with the girl and they were like, no, we're not taking it. So then I literally scream in the waiting room. Like, does anyone here speak English <laughs> and Spanish? And there's like five people in there, like not a lot of people. And then some lady was like, I speak a little. And so then she finally came over and helped me. At this point, I turn around and I see TJ stabbing himself with <gasps> his EpiPen, which he's never done in oh his life. Oh my God. So he's like desperate at this point. Yes. And so then this lady starts talking to them. She's like, he's going into anaphylaxis, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then immediately they start like helping oh thank god because i i just like didn't know and then like they're like we need a down payment we need a down payment i'm, like, I'm literally like hand them all my cards i'm like do whatever you need to fucking anything. do get him in there like yeah. he's literally about to die and um then th this was like a crazy so then they take him back we were probably in there for like five to 10 minutes. Like I, don't, I literally don't even know how he's alive. Wait, like in the room? In the waiting room. What did they do to him? So then he had to- How did to, they fix that? No, TJ was in the waiting room for that long. Oh, oh, oh. And so then they take him back. They would not let me back there with him. So I'm freaking out. Oh my out. God, like, of course sobbing oh my god and Carol's like filling out all the paperwork for me which is all in Spanish. So we're like using Google Translate and it's just like, Oh my Such gosh. Such a mess. And I'm like, I don't know what's going night. on back there. And no one here speaks English. I don't know if he's able to communicate with them, like what's happening or if they understand. And so then we have Alan, our friend Alan, who is, he speaks fluent Spanish. He's Mexican. He calls and TJ puts him on speakerphone. So then he becomes the like translator, translator between the doctor and TJ. And like, thank oh. fucking God for him. Cause like, holy it was so scary but so then he was in the room by himself for like probably 40 minutes before i could go back there holy and then when shit. i go in i don't know what's going on and like tj was going through literally not being able to breathe so like he didn't know what they did for yeah. him but when i go back there like after 40 minutes like he was still like bad oh my god like literally i was like this could be it oh my <laughs> like god it was really scary like still not being able to breathe they didn't give him oxygen which like normally they would do mm -hmm. but um yeah they gave him like this a, could be it no i was Sorry. like it's so like not scared. funny but it's yeah and we like, hadn't even been in mexico for three hours i know like of course the second you get there and something yeah. bad happens and so then we we were there for like three we were at the hospital for three hours and they just like did an iv drip they gave him steroids i believe yeah and just like lots and lots of fluids and like eventually he got better Oof, god damn um, but it was like it was so it was such a crazy thing because every time like we we just could not communicate with each other yeah. and i think it was really frustrating on both parts totally because i like of course they're helping mm -hmm. and they want to tell you what's going on but i'm like i don't know what you're saying and like vice versa like if i were to ask something they're like i, I don't, don't know. know yeah and so it was so helpful that we had alan and i'm never letting tj go anywhere without him again in like a <laughs> <laughs> spanish-speaking country yeah and like alan literally on dial yeah but i'm also like this is why I was meant to get on the plane. Cause if I hadn't, he would literally Whoa. be dead in the hotel room. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah. Because he's so stubborn. Like he literally wouldn't have gone to the hospital and no one else understands how serious it was. Like they were all joking. Cause I was like so concerned when we were standing outside and they're like, you guys are like mom and dad on vacation. Like, ha 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 ha. And I'm Meanwhile, like, Meanwhile, like, Ugh. no, I'm like, he's having an allergic reaction. And they're like, Wait. he's fine. And I'm like, mm, he's not. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy so that he like, got on the plane. And then I know like literally if I hadn't been there he would not have gone to the hospital wow you don't think he would have ended up going at all i don't know he would have taken benadryl and just died <laughs> i don't maybe maybe the benadryl would he would have, have probably done the benadryl waited a minute maybe done the EpiPen, and like at that point maybe it'd have been too late yeah it, like i'm telling you like jesus christ i was so like i literally was like i don't when we were in the waiting room and they weren't like talking to us i was like he's gonna die because like we can't communicate yeah, with one another fuck. like it was i didn't know it was that bad no it was so, it's, so like, terrible i know yeah. it's happened before and it's just like oh shit let's go yeah i didn't know it was that bad oh my god I, i've only been with him to the hospital once and it wasn't that bad it was like the movie thing right yeah he was like wheezing but like he, like i have never seen him look like this in my life his face oh. was like oh like uh, his eyes were like bloodshot and big and he was bright red, like profusely sweating. 
And I was just oh like, God, this is scary. not okay. And it's like when scary. he was talking, I was like, you can't say anything. And just like <gasps> wheezing like that. Yeah. And that's why you tell people you have fucking allergies. And yeah. like, so then that really just like made you more grew, paranoid. I, I was like, I want to go home now. Yeah. Because uh, how are, you did everything right. And how are we supposed to know now that like the next thing you eat isn't going to have peanuts yeah. in it? Because like you told them like four times and this still happened and we wound up here. So then I was like, you can only eat McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's in McDonald's so and it is not any real food. Every day. Did you really? <laughs> he ordered it for breakfast the next day, but I still was like, you're like staring at no, him. No, I literally was like, lick it first and see. Like, <laughs> if, and, But it was like, <laughs> lick it first. Because TJ could speak like pretty good Spanish. Like he could communicate with everyone. Oh, wow. Which I was like, huh? Like, where, where did, did this come, come from? from? <laughs> yeah, no, it was like hot. But like literally all of us were like, <laughs> my oh, bilingual holy king. Fuck. Yeah, we were like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> um, so it like wasn't that. Like he said everything right and, um, like could read stuff on rappers and like know what it was. Oh my God. And obviously knows the word for peanut. But I was just not just traumatized. Okay after that. And like fully. every time he would like try to get food, I'd be like, you need to like clearly communicate. Like you need to tell them you'll die. Yeah. And so the next night we were at a restaurant right next to our hotel that was just like tacos. Mm -hmm. And he ordered one and like said, oh, I'm allergic to peanuts. And then I literally was like, I didn't have service. I was like, Kara, you need to write in Google Translate. Like he will die if he eats any peanuts. Mm -hmm. And she like laughed at me. And I was like- No, like he will. Yeah. And I'm like, you saw. Yeah. <laughs> you saw last night. Yeah. Like just who cares? Yeah. And then she showed the waiter and he was like, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> but it's like, I don't understand why we're like- Dilly dallying It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, because then the next nuts. night we went to the festival and they had a taco truck too. And it was like El Pastor tacos. And I was like, okay, we need to just like let them know. And everyone was like, it's just a taco. I know, but it's like, you don't know what they cook it in. 100%. Or and like, it's like, what's the fucking harm? Yeah. You just do don't you, Do you want to go through what we did the other night? I mean, this happened in literally- where we live, like in our neighborhood at the time too. Like you went to a Thai yeah. restaurant and they were like, no, there's no peanuts. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's like- Oh yeah, it's it, not just like because it, we were in Mexico. No, yeah, like, it could be anywhere. And it's so frustrating because you do everything right. And yeah. then it's like, shit. And then it still happens. That's such a scary allergy. Yeah. That's the only time, he, the only times he's ever had to go to the hospital are like after <laughs> he's been so clearly specific that he is allergic to yeah. them. If you guys have kids and they're allergic to peanuts, you are going to be like the most worried human on the well, planet. Well, it's so annoying because going out with him and Tim, I'm like, oh, yeah, his neither dad. of you are telling people. So TJ's allergic to peanuts and Tim's allergic to tree nuts. So it's like no nuts. And yeah. And I'm like, uh, just tell people yeah. like, it must just be like, I mean, I don't know what it's like either. Cause I don't have it. It must just be something where it's like embarrassing. I don't know. Or just like. It's not a big deal. It, yeah. You know? I don't want to like, like ruin it anything else. Couldn't be easier. Literally yeah. just be like, oh, by the way, I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if it was me, I'd be like, I'm, I will die. Like I'd be so scared of no, it. Me too. Well, I wind up doing it. TJ will like order. He'll be like, oh, I'm going to get the um, buttered noodles. And I'm like, and. And yeah, I know. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> because like, I need him to practice doing it. <laughs> like he's seven. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He just, he's, he's like, he's like, oh, no, it doesn't matter. I don't need to tell them. And I was never, I never knew anyone with an allergy yeah. growing up. And then when he had his first reaction where I had to go to the hospital, that's when I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is horrifying. Yeah. It's probably like, I don't ever want to eat anywhere now because who knows? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well now you need to tell everyone because prior to that, I, he never told anyone, but like, I didn't understand. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, you can't breathe when that happens and like yeah. you will die. And so just tell them. Well, the good thing is you always have an EpiPen with you. So that will I know, But help. if I hadn't been there, he wouldn't have because it would have been in yeah. our room. Yeah. And now he needs to order another. But now I literally, I'm like, I'm not letting you travel without me ever again. Yeah. Not like, that you are without me, but I'm like, <laughs> only because I know that you're like a little stubborn bitch. Yeah. And but I wonder if you weren't there, if you would have just gone because no. he'd be like, no. I think he would have waited until it was too late. God, that is so scary. I know. Cause he th he's like, oh, well, it's I'm fine. But then like after he was literally in the hospital for 40 minutes, like getting all these fluids and steroids and like the treatment, <laughs> he's like still like 
not okay. <laughs> God. Like was puking. It, did, does your health insurance like cover oh, that stuff? Oh, this is what I want to talk about. So they were like, we need a down payment. I'm like, take all my fucking down money. Payment. Like, okay. I don't know. I don't care how much it is. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. They print me a receipt. It's 5,000 pesos. And Which so then I what? like put it into my calculator. Oh. $250. So I'm like, okay, I don't even know what this means, but cool. Yeah. 250 bucks. Like, sure. is that a copay or like? So they were like, it's a down payment. And I was like, okay. And so then I go back in with him. And then at the end, I have Alan on with the doctor and he's like telling me everything they're saying. They're like, okay, they're going to print out your bill and the down payment will like cover like that part portion. It'll cover however much it the down payment mm -hmm. was. And then you'll either like have to pay more on top of it, depending on the treatment mm -hmm. or like we'll figure That's it out. It, yeah. We got the bill. It was 4,700 pesos. So I get money back. It was like a $200 hospital bill. So you got money back? And that's it. That's all I had to do. Wait, that's sick. I know. And when he did it in the States, it was like at least $1,500. I mean, that's, that's America. Isn't that crazy? That's America for you. Yeah, that's Like sick. you just go in, you give him a little like, Down hold. payment and then you get it back if it's not too crazy. Yeah. So we had to pay $200. I mean, obviously I wish we didn't have to pay any money, but like- yeah, and like even if so cheap. Even if was that with insurance? No, no insurance. That's so that's just how walk. much it, that if that uh -huh. yeah, if that was here, it'd be thousands of dollars. And imagine I don't really know what the insurance system is like in Mexico, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming like if you have insurance, it's probably literally no money at all. Yeah. I don't know if it's one a country that has insurance taxes just cover yeah. like Canada. I mean, I'm and not stuff. sure. I don't know. I'm but not then, I don't know enough. On your about way the world. out, they give you a receipt. And then you have to hand it to a guard who then is like, okay, thanks for paying. See you later. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, this is like the best it's like system. going to Rite Aid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, thank you. Wait, Wait, that's, that's actually a really cool ending. <laughs> I will yeah, say. No, we were like, oh, okay, great. Yeah. What the fuck? And um, no, like the hospital was so nice. Like Kaiser could never. Oh my God. Kaiser's spooks me. It Kaiser was horrifying. Kaiser scares me. Well, cause also like you never know I, I've never been to a hospital in a foreign country before. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they're going to be like, what their like setups are like. Um, so, I mean, obviously it's like a little like jarring, like, oh, what's it going to be like Yeah, of here? course, like anywhere. But we walked in. I literally had to ask them, be like, is this a hospital? Is this an emergency room? <laughs> You're like, it was a fancy hotel. What is yeah. it? <laughs> no, it like looked like that, <laughs> but it was, and it was fine. And sorry, I've been talking about this for 20 minutes, but that was like, no, I how, mean, that was literally how our trip started. And then I was just like a nervous wreck the, the whole, whole time. rest of it. So were you still sick the rest of the weekend? <laughs> yeah, Friday we did nothing. Was it like a stuffy nose sickness or was it, it just like, like- Yeah, like sinus and like a little bit of a sore throat and like that was it. Mm, annoying. Um, I'm like basically fine right now. I think I just sound like this because I'm exhausted. Yeah, you got tired of sleep. And it's I'd like the, the tail end. Like by yesterday, like we were drinking and partying and yeah. like having a nice time. Fun. But um, yeah, definitely like pseudofed it up the yeah. whole entire time oh, we were yeah. there. Um, but then other people we were with on the trip wound up getting sick and going home. Oh my God. Everyone, it is just going everyone around. Everyone is sick or has the flu. Yeah. I'm glad we got our flu shots. We I did. don't know if we said that, but like after that one podcast, we did go and get them. We got our flu shots. Yeah. I, I just got the booster too this weekend for- Yeah, your arm is like a- Yeah, it's like ball. bulging. I mean, yeah. And it's a funny because like the, the day before, well, I got it. I did Pilates on Saturday and it was like a really hard Pilates class. And then I got the vaccine after. And so yesterday I was like, I can't tell oh. if my arm is sore from Pilates or because they both were pretty sore. Yeah. But like with the vaccine one, it's like- You really just don't know. Yeah, but it was weird too because I got the vaccine at like 2 p.m. And then I went to bed and everything that night, woke up, I felt totally fine. I was like, okay, cool. Like it didn't affect me like the other ones. Yeah. But then last night I was like, had aches. I was so, so tired at like Just 7 PM. delayed release. I guess it was delayed. I was like, either this is a delay or like I'm actually getting sick. And that's like the worst part, but I feel fine today. So yeah. hopefully it's all good. Maybe you just were sick for a few hours. Yeah, maybe you got just, it over with. Yeah, maybe the I was getting the flu and yeah. the flu shot really helped. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um, I wish that life came with user manual. I really do. Uh, I have anxiety and it would be very helpful. And unfortunately, life does not come with the user manual, especially when things are tough or you're having problems with someone or something or thinking a certain way. Um, but in my experience, therapy has helped so much with that. Um, therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. Therapy has helped me in so many ways over the past 
I don't know, five, six, seven years that I've been in it. Um, I can think of situations differently. I can take myself out of situations. I can communicate better. I've been taught better coping skills to deal with situations or problems or that feeling of being stuck, like I mentioned a second ago. Um, it's really, it's been super beneficial to me and I highly, highly, highly recommend it to literally anyone. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash onlyfriends. That's betterhelp.com slash onlyfriends. This podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. This holiday season, you can be thankful for so many things. The food, the friends, the family, your health your job i don't know but what you should be thankful for is manscaped performance package 4.0 tell your in-laws this thanksgiving about your new cutting edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle trim your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use the code only friends for free shipping and 20 percent off think your holiday spread is good it's time to give thanks to manscaped performance package 4.0 or as i like to call it the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all of your goodies. Think of it as a cornucopia for your balls. Their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It also gives you the ability to turn on the 4000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave plus Plus, it's waterproof. I will say I'm very thankful for the lawnmower. I shave everything with it. Um, it reduces the nicks. It reduces grooming accidents. It reduces the risk of ingrown hairs. I can't tell you how many times with regular shavers I have literally cut out my entire legs. And I'm very thankful for Manscaped. As if this wasn't enough, it's time to do the dishes with Manscaped's shower products. Lather some Manscaped's refined body wash on their brand new signature body buffer and give yourself the lather and rinse your body deserves. No hygiene routine is complete without Manscaped's. Manscaped signature deodorant as well. A couple of swipes of this and you'll be feeling oh so crisp. Getting Manscaped is the ultimate hack to becoming the family favorite. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code onlyfriends at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code onlyfriends. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. This podcast is sponsored by Nutrafol. Millions of Americans are experiencing thinning hair. It's more than common. It's normal. And actually, 30 million women are impacted by weak or thinning hair. But it's not openly talked about, especially amongst women. Going through it can feel lonely and frustrating. It's time to change a conversation and join the thousands of women who are standing up for their strands with Nutrafol. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically showing to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol supports healthy hair growth from within by targeting the five root causes of thinning, stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, and metabolism through whole body health. Nutrafol has three unique formulas to support women through all stages of life, including postpartum and menopause. Each formula is physician formulated using natural drug-free medical grade ingredients and consistently effective dosages so you get the most reliable results i've been using neutrophil for months and months now and my hair is actually growing and it is so exciting and um, i love the product you can grow thicker healthier hair and support our show by going to neutrophil.com and entering promo code only friends to save 15 dollars off your first month's subscription this is their best offer anywhere and it is only available to u.s customers for a limited time plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code only friends. But I also feel like we need to talk about our Taylor Swift ticket experience. I have that on my thing. Also, okay. by the way, I made our thing. I was like, I'm just going to do it now. Our what? I wrote our whole like podcast out at 7 a.m. at the airport. <laughs> like before you left? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to be like. Yeah. Will I have, will I and be conscious? And then it's like, I won't have to like rush when I get home and like yeah. do that. Yeah. So like, I'm interested to see what I wrote down. <laughs> it's all like, I don't remember at this point. It's all like all over but the that place. that was definitely on it. <laughs> this is going to be a long one, guys. Yeah, it's going to be a long one, but we have to beat the sunset. So this is like stressful. Oh yeah. But okay. So we both did not it get- It might actually get better. Oh, you're right. Because we have the light. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it will. Well, just- We'll just see. Whatever. Yeah. Um, 
I that was literally remember. the first thing. Taylor ticket outcome. <laughs> outcome. Yeah. Well, so many people were asking. I also want to say I was getting tweets and messages being like, Aaron didn't, didn't get you tickets because like you got tickets. But I just want to say, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron got tickets for TJ's parents. Yeah. So it's not like it, like they got the presale code and they had to do it for them basically. Mm -hmm. So like she wasn't like buying tickets for a bunch of friends or anything. Yeah. It was just like them. So that wasn't like a thing at all. <laughs> also like. Well, we could get into the fact that we didn't get, to, like my ideal tickets with all love to TJ and his parents is not my ideal Taylor. I know. Ticket experience. Yeah. We got like super lucky and like- It was East Coast. So you're, you're they were the ones that like got in before everything broke. Yeah. Which was, it was like what, 6.30 a.m. or 7 a.m. our yeah. time? Yeah. Honestly, I think that's why I got sick because I was like up so early. <laughs> were you sick? And then well, literally worried sick yeah. for days. You made yourself sick. Yeah. But so we got them tickets and then also it's just hard. Cause I'm like, I don't know if people are gonna come to the East Coast. Like, do we buy tickets? Like yeah. it's so fucking far. I mean, and it's like, a lot. And it's not like we were depending on Aaron for tickets and I wasn't even expecting that. It was literally, TJ's parents tickets. So yeah, it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't that at all. And then I feel like we said this last time, but we didn't get pre-sale codes. Oh, we were talking about it because it was Monday. Yes. We ended None up not getting them. it. Nope. We not ended a up single one of us except for TJ's parents. Yes. Like what the <laughs> fuck? And so. But we, you could only, with their pre-sale code, you could only sign up for Ma the Massachusetts one. Oh, interesting. Because oh, because they were the, chose it. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. So yeah, we ended up getting emails at like 7 p.m. or something that were like, you're on the wait list, which yeah. literally means nothing, I feel. Like, what does that even like, mean? Uh, Are we on a wait list? Can we get in? Like, what does that mean? It's so funny because like watching that happen and them being the only two people I know that got it who, yeah. who didn't like actively buy Taylor Swift stuff. I know. I was like, okay, then this system is so not legit. It just uh, didn't make they, sense. They became Swifties during the folklore Evermore days. So they're they're fake fans. No, the, you know them. They're like I know them, but if we didn't know them, we'd be like you're fake fan. Yeah, no. Tim, but is Tim like, like will ski to Taylor Swift. No, Tim is like a hardcore Swiftie. I know. I love Anytime it. Anytime I like went to check in on Paris on the ring because they would like work out outside, I would turn on the noise and they were just listening to the new Taylor album. <laughs> I love they're that. so cute. He's like, you I need to make that. me the new playlist. Oh, like he, once he like. Love listens to someone and likes them they're like the biggest music buffs yeah and like they really genuinely appreciate it he's like more of a swifty than me like we'll be listening to a song he's like so what do you think this means like it relates to this and this and i'm like I don't, i'm just listening to the words oh like my god i love him yeah you'll you can have some great combo but like he's like deep into it he'll send me articles all the time <laughs> like he's so sweet my parents can never my mom's like you like taylor swift right i'm like yeah. yes where were you through high school <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay and then so i have a capital one card so it was really all on me and like yeah. i needed to get six tickets because there's like basically six of us that were in like a group that wanted to go or whatever yeah. so i'm all stressed well, about it pre us <laughs> pre none of us getting codes we were like okay we'll all try when we get our code for six and then this will be the group of us that come. So it was basically like, okay, Carly will try for six and then uh, she'll be on like these five people's roster as well to yeah. get tickets to these potential cities. So we made like a little pact with like five other people. Yes. Which was but like, then no one, got, no one got them. So I was like, <laughs> oh my God. And like, I'm not a leader. Like, I don't like to lead things. I don't like to be in charge. I don't like to make decisions for other people because I have a complex where like everything I do is wrong. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to go in get in haha <laughs> me thinking i was even gonna get in Titty. um and only see like four tickets and i was like is it rude if i just get four and like exclude two people or do and i say I immediately was like, no just get the four see this is like why i need aaron because i was like okay thank you like i need that yeah. like boost of like at that point it's just confidence. like i feel like you're on your own kid it's like yeah, you, you gotta just do it. So I didn't want to do it by myself. So I literally went to Aaron's only fan. <laughs> yeah, well, she was like, is, is anyone gonna be around? And we were like, no. It, I was, it was like, like oh. the most the worst time it of was, the day. It was 1 p.m. on Wednesday. It had been postponed. Yeah, it was supposed to be the day before. And it was perfect. So I could just go to Aaron's house. Yeah. And Kara was already there, yeah. our friend that's going too. So I was like, okay, they're both like pretty like in charge people. Like I yeah. feel very safe with we're them. The, we're the two in charge You're, for sure. Yeah, so like I it's, felt so safe. And and like <laughs> we're born three days nice. apart. So I feel like we have that like twin energy of like, let's fucking do yes, it. Yes. And like you do like, and that's yeah. what I need in my life. So but it then got I was moved. Like, and then I was like, Carly, you can just come here if you want. Like joking. She's like, okay, I'll be there. No, literally. I was like, no, I have to go <laughs> to her only fan shoot, which was like funny and yeah. funny, whatever. And, um, 
So I have Capital One, like I said. So I log in and I get in line and I think I was in the line for like an hour Mm -hmm. and I was looking at TikTok because uh, I was doing that the day before, like watching how people yeah. were buying them because it was really fun. Like so many people were on live buying the tickets so you could like see the process. Totally. And everyone that was trying to get the Arizona show, we really wanted to go air- to Arizona because Paramore is yeah. opening. And um, everyone I saw on live was at the same spot I was for like 40 minutes. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just paused or something. And then literally I kept seeing tweets that were like, it's already sold out. It's already yeah. sold out. And it, people and then were, my screen just changed. People were also it. like uploading photos of like when they got in, what was available. Yeah, and it it'd was be like bad. two tickets. It was bad. And they were, weren't together. It was just like, yeah. and so. uh, most of them were like the start, like the VIP ones, yeah. which were so much money. Yeah. You know, something really fucked up. I guess if you buy a VIP ticket and you transfer it to somebody, you lose the VIP <gasps> part of it. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. So like if you're out there and you are buying a VIP from somebody or you bought it and are transferring it to someone else. Like expecting it to be VIP. Yeah, it's not gonna be VIP apparently. Apparently, allegedly. Don't, uh, don't sue me for slander, but- Get your shit that's together. It it's okay, we can spread this false info. Get the pot stirring. Mm, yeah, whatever. We need to. So scandal. that was really devastating. And then we were like, okay, well, honestly, Friday will be exciting because- like, I don't the know. General it's, sale is happening Friday. Yeah, it's honestly kind of fun to like wait in line and see what you yeah. get. Like, I was having a good time. That person DM'd me, welcome back down to earth. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and then, of course, it got canceled. So I still don't understand if it's like canceled, canceled, yeah. or like if it's going to move. I, no information. And then I told you, I was like, I'm extremely optimistic. This will all work out. We're going to get tickets. We're going to go. I'm yeah. manifesting it. I think they really fucked up. I definitely think there's still tickets available. I just think they're figuring out like what's going to happen. And honestly, like either way, like I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting us there. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get I'm tickets I'm going to make it work. Well, we will somehow make yeah, it work. Somehow, some way. I'm sure that they're going to release tickets somehow. I know. It's so fucking crazy though. The ones, so the ones we got for, I'll be fully transparent. The ones we got for Boston, for the, I love how they call it Boston, but it's literally in fucking Foxborough, Massachusetts, which is like it's Boston. an hour away. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> it's like so funny. Um, the Massachusetts show, we got floor seats. TJ was doing it panicking because as you would click them and then like go to check out, they would disappear. Oh like yeah, was like, yeah. Oh, sorry, someone got these. Sorry. So then he literally just <gasps> like picked four random ones. Like I feel like so many people did this too and like didn't look at how yep. much they cost or whatever. But I, well, he did. He was like, okay, they're three ninety nine or something. Yeah. And we're like, okay, whatever. Like that's worth it. We'll yeah. do it. Checked out like with taxes and everything. I think they were like four fifty each. And that's just like for the floor, that's like crazy. no VIP, nothing. And TJ's dad was like searching like a day later and saw that someone with our exact seat, they are being sold for $21,000. Shut the fuck up. We were like, do we just sell them? <laughs> <laughs> you become a scalper. Yeah. No, like, because those things will go down. An, oh, uh, those are just like for people Did who are like- Did you see the TikTok you know? that was like the highest Taylor Swift ticket prices in each city? No. I saw one that was like 78 grand or something. Like they were, I think I favorited it. I'll show it to you, but it was like who wild. The fuck. I mean, someone super rich yeah. is probably just going to buy it, but. But it's just like, just wait. Like, I feel like that's so dumb. Who's doing that? For like three hours. Like, yeah. I understand it's a Taylor Swift concert, which like, like I would be die like to go to, but like. Billionaire. Yeah. To just like. thousand dollars That's more than my car. No, it's <laughs> insane. Like, that's it's like. In most places in America, that's more than a down payment on a home. Literally. <laughs> it's like so fucked up, but the whole situation was so fucked, but. And then Taylor really released a statement. Yeah. And she kind of like kicked to get master's ass. I know. And like good. now this whole, it's funny. There's like an FB or like non, an internal investigation with Ticketmaster. And then I was like, Alexa play vigilante shit. Yeah, no, literally. Well, I heard that they were going to do that anyway because it's so fucked up how they like mm-hmm. run their business and they like but internally like, okay, buy don't tickets. Ha- it's so annoying. I know like you guys gave out the pre-sale code so you knew how many people had them. Oh yeah, their excuse. That oh, was yeah, like, like too oh, it high was, demand. Yeah, and it's like, you are the one who allowed the demand. I know. So it doesn't make any sense. Stop gaslighting yeah, us. Yeah, you're gaslighting us. You're making us feel like shit. And we're the just. The biggest crime upset. that Ticketmaster is committing is gaslighting. I, no, literally, like, find Lock them. Jail. Up. 
jail for gaslighting. I think actually anyone should go to jail for gaslighting. Yeah. yeah. Arrest immediately. Uh, arrested. The thing that's public sucks humiliation. Is like, artists have known this for so long and like they're sick of it, obviously. And like the fees that they take for merch at their venues and all of that is just like so shitty. But it's like they can't really do anything else because it's like the biggest corporation to yeah. like throw music events. And I know. like they own the biggest venues. I think I saw it was like Pearl Jam or something was like a band that tried to fight with Ticketmaster like back in the day. They, they were would. like, they were like the last that. ones to, I, that could be completely wrong. I'm pretty sure it was Pearl Jam though. They would do that. And they were like, no, fuck this. And I don't, I don't know what happened, but obviously it didn't change anything because it's still terrible. Well, now Taylor will be the one to do it. Yeah. She Our should, queen. like she could easily make her own ticketing system. I know. Well, it's the venues. Um, so Live Nation it's the Live Nation venues, I think. And then I think they like partner with Ticketmaster. Oh, I'm still, I think. She could do something else. Is that what, is that true? <laughs> no one. He said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's what it is. Because that's why some of them were sold in SeatGeek because they're SeatGeek venues. Oh, like okay. Those also, three venues are SeatGeek venues. The one we want to go to is run by SeatGeek. So we're like, Ian, I know. <laughs> do you still work Ian, there? Ian, please, for the love of God, if you're please, watching. Please, please, I'll never ask for anything again. I know you got me a car, Don't but this is all I like, want. Some 12 year old TikToker who like has only known Taylor for like two albums. A I know. So we'll see. And like, ugh. I have faith. I'm keeping faith. We're going to do it. And I'm, like, I'm just not, I'm We not should just go anyways. <laughs> we're yeah. gonna, we're, we should book a hotel and we, we book our flights we and we'll figure it out. We can get the tickets that are like, that you watch from the parking lot yeah, a mile yeah. down the road. Yeah. Like it's like a restricted view and it's like literally at a 7-Eleven parking lot. Yeah, I did that with Lord once. She played an Oh, old I remember that. You were like on a rooftop. You remember? Yeah, you like, we're posting it on your- Snapchat? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Because well, I was like, I was that's pa- cool. I was with Packy. <gasps> Yeah. Wow. I would, would not take him as a Lord fan. I mean, we were just driving around. We're like, oh, wait, oh. this is cool. And oh then we drove up onto a parking garage and she was playing out. You could just see it completely fine. Yeah. I'm like shocked that people were allowed up there, but. That, that would be the <sighs> idea. Maybe yeah. we could just like. Call Taylor up. Get a little helicopter <laughs> and watch from above. That's what, that was a TikTok. It was like me getting my helicopter. Oh yeah, yeah, Since yeah, it's yeah, cheaper yeah. than a oh. ticket. <laughs> oh my God. No fucking it's for real. so stupid. Well. Anyways. Oh, I got a tattoo. Oh yeah. I don't know. If By you- the way, I was literally <laughs> laying in bed, like fresh off a of peanut attack. And then I like op- <laughs> scrolling through Instagram and Carly's story is just like <laughs> cute. Her little horse man with a giant cat on her arm. And I was like, what? <laughs> and, well, I posted on my story a couple weeks ago and I was like, I want this tattoo. I know. I remember, but like it, you're a person that like is like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I know. then like never I'm really scared follow to do through. It. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like it always takes like convincing Oh yeah, like especially with hair stuff and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then when I saw it, I was like, huh? I know. I don't know what came over me, but on Thursday, Nolan was like gone. And I was like, are you doing anything tomorrow? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get this tattoo. And like the placement, like you're literally like, no, I'm no, here. I want it visible. Yeah. If you can't see it on here. It's on my Instagram. <laughs> yeah. You can go there. <laughs> Carly Contra. Yeah. But I, it's funny because I have Frank tattooed. It's like very faded and then just a cat. So I'm like, should I just get a cat sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> just like a bunch of different cats. I can only sit on the other side of you. Yeah, yeah. I literally have a cat on me too, but it's Yeah, my yours cat. is cute. It's like a little loud. You'd line. never know. Someone someone saw it and they were like, I forget what they asked, but they did not know that they were animals on my arm. What? Yeah. What did they think it was? I don't remember. They're like, is that a cloud? And I was like, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's just two like clouds. something silly. And I was like, no, my favorite it's clouds. my pets. <laughs> Cumulonimbus <laughs> clouds. Yeah. Thunderstorms. They're so like dainty that I feel yeah. like I think it might have been my trainer maybe because she oh. like saw my arm move. Yeah. I don't know. Where are yours again? Right here. Are they like pretty faded too? Mm. Kind of. Mine's like really. Why do you look so funny? Yeah, she's so cute. Yeah. But, um, and it didn't even hurt because it's like my real like real tat first real tattoo. I know. Well, that was the other. Sh- we, that's the thing is like Carly has one tattoo and it's so little. And, and it was like, like basically a. What is it called? Like a stick and no, it's just like a really thin line. Like oh, does, I thought it was like, like poke. Really <laughs> no, no, it's like a thin line. The tattoo. thinnest line. Yeah. So like I barely felt it. I was like Botox hurts worse than yeah. this. This one. No, and she's like fine. loud and pr- like none of my tattoos are really visible to anyone. No, I wanted it. I wanted I it like lower. I wanted it to be visible to everyone. Cause I think no, it's I love so it. cute. I'm yeah. like obsessed with it. I'm like, it's so cute as cat. We walked by a tattoo parlor in Mexico. I'm like always down to get a tat. Like yeah. I have tattoos on my body that are like, 
I have a cheeseburger tattooed on me. Like, let's be real. <laughs> but so like when I saw that, I was like, yes, it's <laughs> happening. No. She's converting. Literally, if you say the word, I'll go get another tattoo. Cause now all I want is to like fill this arm with like little tattoos. Yeah. Since I already have two. <laughs> on what, you don't think you'll even it out on either arm? You're going to do like a sleeve moment? Not like a sleeve sleeve, but like a, yeah, you no, know what, I know what you're talking about. Like yeah. Harry Styles vibe. Yeah. Like, like Jenna. Yes. People are on TikTok are saying those are like so out of style, but I'm like, that's because no. Gen Z doesn't know what the fuck they're talking yeah, about. It's because everything also, millennials like, do bothers them. Who has ever once been like, these tattoos are in style. Like tattoos yeah. are literally just like an expression of what you like in art and like- Hence, yeah. my cat. <laughs> like it's so silly. I know. Oh, I fucking hate Gen Z. <sighs> you guys are like- I love Gen Z, but there's yeah. a, there's a, there's a, hilarious amazing half of gen z and then there's like yes. the karen gen z yes and it's like it's like the annoying gen z yeah but like, i mean like, also millennials are very fucking annoying too at some point so 100 percent. it's just every generation you're so right but gen z is like loud and proud on the internet i think that's why we're so like mm -hmm. aware of them but i do i do love I them i think, think they're think so funny they're like they're so critical about things that are like huh yeah like to be like oh these tattoos are out of style like what i know it, i saw How do you even think that this one girl and like the comment was like your tattoos look like pinterest from 2016 or something and it's like okay i understand that trends go Bitch, by you so fast now, but then. Like, yeah i know i'm like <laughs> it's not like that it's, yeah. i don't know it's just it's crazy but well it's very know. cute and thank you well i was walking by a. <laughs> it was very funny it made me think of it i was walking by a tattoo parlor yesterday it was like get a tattoo and free mezcal. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I go. Yeah. I, I hate mezcal though. Me too. It's oh so my God. smoky. That is uh, all, this is, gonna, this is like so complainy of me, but in in the artist lounge at uh, the music festival, yeah. the only alcohol they had was mezcal. Liter literally mezcal. They didn't even have like tequila, anything to mix it with. What? Like you literally, they were just handing out shots of mezcal. Oh my God. Are we like so white or is that weird? No, it was like, but like we're just everyone so was American. loving it. And like, okay. I, I just don't like mezcal. It's like, I'd rather- Was it really smoky? So smoky. Okay, that's like, I feel like I'm drinking a campfire. Like I can't do it. Yeah, no. Well, it like, made me a margarita with mezcal. Might as well just like, go smoke a pack of six. No, for real. I was like, I now have lung issues. <laughs> yeah, because but I like everyone mezcal. was drinking it all week. And then like, I'm just like literally twiddling my thumbs. Like everyone's <laughs> fucked just up. And I'm sober. like, I just want a beer. <laughs> and then- uh, Plug um, your nose. Just I got like a down. plug because the artist- the artist lounges were so cool. The only one I've ever been to is at Coachella and they're like little trailers, but uh -huh. these ones were like build out. I don't know how to explain it. They like were like cubicles. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like big rooms and they like stock their shit. So like they have al like all kinds of alcohol, all kinds of Corona, Corona beer, <laughs> Corona, <laughs> all kinds of Corona. <laughs> you got the light. And that's but it. So I like found someone I knew who like was doing that and I, I was like smuggle me a beer please oh and you got one mm -hmm. oh thank god so i had one drink and they all had 20 shots of mezcal and then you have one beer and it's like well now i'm tired <laughs> no literally i had one other for the rest of the night but i was like whatever sad um but i did have to tell you um so when we left on thursday i immediately texted carly because chrishell and g flip oh, were on yes. our flight there yes. and i only knew that because when we were walking to our gate i heard them over the loudspeaker be like Chriselle Hartley. <gasps> and like, then they start listing everyone. I was like, what? Huh? And also I was like, I did not know that she still had that last name. Yeah. But so then they were on our flight and TJ was, he got upgraded to first class where they were staying. And I afterwards was like, oh my God, like, what were they like? Were they so cute? He was yeah. like, they were so cute. Aww. Like you can tell they're so happy. I was like, oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. Aaron gets so lucky on flights. It's like you always see people on flights. I haven't told you about today's. Oh, oh, oh no. On t today's flight, I was, like, Paris Styles. I was at the AMAs, baby. Like it was <laughs> oh. crazy. So I'll I'll go in order of fame. Ash was on our flight. Okay. I had um, to think for a second, but then I got there. Um George from the 1975. Okay. Him and Charlie XCX were sitting oh, they're together. They're dating. Yep. So they were together. Holy shit. And then the headliner um of the flight, Lil Nas X. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Just on our flight. Wait. Oh yeah, they were at the festival. Uh -huh, I was like, yeah. we're not all at the AMAs, but they yeah, definitely no, were. No, they were all there. And then there were definitely like other bands, but couldn't not, tell you like yeah. who they were. Like also Miley and yeah. Haley Williams. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like they were probably on a private plane, but I literally, yeah. like Lil Nas walked on her flight. I was like, what? It's pretty crazy. He flies commercial. I know. Well, he was in like really nice seats. I know. And I he had assume. like a lot of security with him. 
as he should. He had two, ma- well, I can rewind. At the festival itself, I don't know if this is like public information, but, <laughs> or if I should even say it, but a lot of- to say there was like a threat. A lot, a lot of the artists take like extra safety precautions in Mexico. And I'm assuming because of like, cartel Mm -hmm. things and they are like highly secure like when miley was performing they literally shut down like the artist paths because she had so much security so like we couldn't even get to like other places on the golf carts and then same with Lil nas x and i saw him in the artist lounge i literally said to carl i was like he has like (laughs) the president security with him (laughs) they were like all like a team of men in suits with ties like all of the like head things in your ears yeah. and I was like this is what like I loved it but I also was like oh my god like I would be so scared oh my god I'd be horrified I would be like but at least all those people are around to like totally fight off the bad guys a hundred percent but then Power when he got on my plane I was like oh no yeah like what's gonna happen now? I was like there uh there was a threat against you and <laughs> now I'm on the same t- aircraft and Aaron has flight anxiety yeah so that's and fun. TJ got upgraded again no, of course <laughs> god damn to it. be fair he did try to downgrade so he could sit with me but the they would not let him. That's and I so also funny. was like, I'm so nervous about your peanut thing. I don't even want you sitting back here with us peasants. Like, yeah, yeah. Because on the fucking way there, they handed him peanuts <gasps> and he was sitting in first Aren't class. are they like not supposed to give peanuts on flights yeah, if I you have an allergy? Because, okay. Mexico loves peanuts. Oh, okay. Every they're obsessed. Corner, obsessed with peanuts. Like obsessed with peanuts. <laughs> I'm like, they're not even that good of a nut. Like unless it's peanut the butter. The city of peanuts. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why are there so many peanuts everywhere we look? But so they hand him like a little thing of peanuts and he's like, oh, I'm allergic. And he was sitting in first class. So they hand you everything out before like the plane even leaves. Oh, okay. And um, <laughs> the flight attendant then in first class goes and collects them back from everyone they had handed them to. And then they make an announcement over the loudspeaker and they're like, oh, there's peanut allergies on the flight today. So um, we're not going to be passing them out. If we gave you one, like give it back to us, even though they like the flight was still boarding at this point and yada, yada, yada. So then we finally take off. We're up in the air. It's probably been like 30 minutes or an hour and they start doing the regular service. Hands out peanuts to the whole uh-huh. plane. What? <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. Cool, 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 cool. cool. But like the, the ones that they handed, it was like snack mix and like- With peanuts in it. Yeah. Oh, stupid. But so I was like, oh my God. And then I'm texting him. I'm like, cause sometimes you just like, don't eat look. them. And it's just like a picture of a bunch of like cute little looking things. And I was like, cute. that's peanuts. <laughs> like all in caps. And he's like, are you kidding me? Do not eat. Yeah. But the, oh yeah, today's flight sightings were really good. And then when we were going through customs, little Nas X was in the like lane above us. So every time we like snaked around, we would like cross each other. <gasps> Oh my he's god. He's so tall and beautiful. Yeah, isn't he like and six seven? <laughs> he's so tall. And his hair's really tall too. Oh. So it just makes him look like a giant. Like yeah. so tall. I died to see him in person. He's probably just so gorgeous. Yeah. He was wearing like moon boots. <laughs> which was <laughs> like, like a very performance funny. costume. It, yeah, no, it was really funny. He walked by. He was just like walking through the artist lounge, like, but giving, giving, giving. <laughs> and he walked by us and Ricky was like, I didn't know he just slays all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and Ricky's like a straight white guy. Yeah. He slays all the time. Yeah, no, but he but. did. Like he was like I could have I wish he just like did a catwalk up and down like yeah. the artist series the whole time I would have watched. Because yeah. it was so good. He yeah, he was um very beautiful and oh just like a king a moment oh. he truly is a moment i love that i'm happy yeah. that you had that experience i know and i'm not like i don't listen to it i know like the, the hits. hits yeah that's how i am too but i like seeing people who deserve it and like mm-hmm. see what they are like in real life yeah especially just like at an airport and that's your favorite place to see them so it's like yeah, what could be like, better customs well, too how do you have a global entry like i can't believe you're just waiting in this True. line with everyone Wait, that's shocking actually. I know. I heard it's like, uh, I read something about global because I just got TSA pre-check finally. <gasps> I had clear. So I was like still doing yeah. the thing, but like now I you need, double. Now I'm doubling down, but someone was like- You got boosted. <laughs> I got boosted <laughs> twice this weekend. Yeah. Someone said something annoying about global entry. I forget what it was, mm. but I was like, whatever. Cause you can use it as like, that's your TSA pre-check also. Yeah. And then when you like come through customs, there's like massive long lines. And then that one is like literally no one's there. Sick. It's like the new TSA pre-check. Yeah. I just assume for like an artist who's probably going to like travel a in lot world, internationally, yeah. like it, it'd be the best. But like, also, I didn't even realize he'd never like toured until now. He did it? Uh-uh. Like he's touring right now? 
he just was on tour. I think this oh. was, that was his last thing. Like, I see, didn't he kind of pop off like during the pandemic? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's but like, I was like wild. I feel like it's a Mandela effect. Like I thought he's been around forever. No, I know. Like 2018, 2019, we're, no. 2020. Well, well, maybe 2019. Yeah, because of they're gonna take my right, horse. Right. So that was 2018. It was. I think we did this with Mason Ramsey. Oh my god, I, guys, I don't know timelines I think anymore. It was 2018. Jesus. Maybe 2019. No, you might be right. From Vine. <laughs> From Vine. <laughs> my Vine era, 2018. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, because I was like, oh, that is really wild that he's never toured before and like had that and like yeah. now here he is. So maybe he just like didn't really need it. And like yeah. now he's gonna maybe go he'll fly private to world. like other countries. I'm trying to think of you, like trying to think of any other like cool thing I can tell you, but like you know I love a celeb sighting. Yeah, I think I might have written anything down. Oh, I was so hungry one night, and they have like they're like little Seven Elevens. Basically, they're called I believe it's OXO. It's O X X O, and some of them are gas stations, like just like Seven Eleven, and. So I went to one and I saw like nacho cheese Doritos and I was like, hell yeah, like let's do it. Oh. I am a nacho Dorito ho and I get it, open it, take a bite. <laughs> so fucking spicy. Spiciest thing of your life. Did it say spicy? No, it's literally, that's just like their threshold there. Right. Cause they're, they're like, not this white. Tastes like <laughs> yeah. They're like this. T- Cause I got so many DMs. I posted on my Instagram. I was like, oh my God, secure the bag. And then I was like, holy fuck, these are way too hot for me to eat. <laughs> Who can't eat and then celery? everyone are like, those are the like least spicy chips to exist in Mexico. And I'm like, okay. I want to try them. No, you would, I'm bringing it up because you would love them. Like every other person. you could have brought them like, back, but you probably can't. No, with food. Yeah, it's like yeah. so tough. I was like, yeah. I'm not dealing with that, but we'll just have to go to Mexico. Yeah. But I mean, you, would, Amazon you would love them. I know someone brought me, it was a, actually a fan at the airport. She was so sweet when I was leaving Mexico mm-hmm. last year, she brought me their, I believe it was their hot Cheetos, but they're oh so different God. than our hot Cheetos. Yeah. And they're like limey and like, oh my God, they oh. were so good. I was like, how the fuck do I get these in America? Because yeah. these are so good. She was like, I knew you would like them. I was like, you're so nice. They tasted like like a hot queso almost. Ooh, yum. Like they were spicy. That's like I, I ate like four of them and then I kept eating and like this was right before I was DJing too. So then by the time I was DJing, I was like, oh my God, I have literal heartburn like gonna throw from up. eating six chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, these are not spicy at all. And I'm like, okay, well, everyone else tried. I, like my nose started running. <laughs> I'm so fucking white. Oh my but God. Literally I was eating and I was like, Carly would love these. Oh my God, I would. I love a spice. Um, it depends So I wrote though. that down for you. Well, thank you. I did see your story and I was like, damn, I wish I could try those. I know. I wish I could have brought them back. Today I made such a dad joke at um, <laughs> the um, immigration. What, why can't I think customs? of customs? Customs, thank you. Sorry, really. Um, it's okay. You're not, running you're on empty sleep. here. The caffeine's <laughs> running off. Um, it was like a guy and he's, you know, they ask you all the questions like, oh, are you bringing anything back? Like, do you yeah. have anything to declare? And they were like, did you, do you have any money over $10,000 with you? And I was like, no, but I wish I did. <laughs> and he smiled, oh. like cracked a smile. Cause you know how serious Oh my God, they are? they're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what did you bring? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Nothing." laughs> What'd you say? Jail. Nothing. But so then when I said that, he like looked up and like giggled a little and I was like, I am Which a is father. so funny because it's such a dad joke. Yeah. Like I'm sure everyone says that. A thousand percent. Every dad says that. And I'm just like some dumb bitch. You're like, you mean in like my bank account or yeah. like cash? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Nobody laughed and then he was like, you're good to go. Oh, well, that's nice that he smiled. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was um, fun. Oh, I'll tell you this thing in private. I think I wrote that down Ooh, to tell tea. you in private. I just like, you know, I like to give celebrities their, oh, I feel I really lucky that I get access to like view from my focal point, but there's a lot of stuff that like, I would prefer to not share with yeah. people because I just think it's inappropriate and they deserve their privacy too. Yeah. But I will gossip with you about it. Okay. Well, the am I the asshole that I have <gasps> is very similar to that. Ooh. So that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. We are an hour in and I have been talking the whole goddamn time. <laughs> it's okay. What you else did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what else did you do? Um, I don't know. Nothing. Um, well, yeah, I got a tattoo. I don't know. I'm trying Nothing to like, really. think of what, what was happening in the, in the States. <laughs> um, little, well, the AMAs were on last night. Yeah. I watched that. It was like pretty boring to be honest. Oh. Except Taylor Swift winning like every oh, single award. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't love her outfit. Know. Really? I thought it was cute. It was very like fearless looking. I me. wish that they fitted on her better. The front was just like a little frumpy when she would walk and it was mm. really bothering me because she's just like the hottest. The goddess, yeah. 
And that made me sad. Cause I was like, mm-hmm. this, this could be good, but yeah. it just didn't fit her correctly. I guess I just didn't like really yeah, well, notice. Yeah. <laughs> I usually don't. <laughs> well, no, but it's also like, I don't like, you could be like, oh, it looks fashion. good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just like, don't know. And I'm just a critical bitch. <laughs> I also read like half of, well, not half, but I'm like halfway through our book for book club. We all it, brought them and no, no one, one read it. Up. Yeah. I mean, it's like hard when you're on a trip like that. I though. know. But if I you're like, like oh, by I waited pool. on the plane. <laughs> oh yeah, you did it? No. Um, it's really good so far though. I know, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, I read the first three pages and I was like, oh, yeah. oh this is already 10 times better. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. It's so much better. Colleen uh, Hoover. And you're like, can't miss. Yes, I am. Okay. Which I'm happy because like I said, there was, uh, I had a mishap with Colleen Hoover. So I'm glad that- um, I can't believe you didn't like that book. Ugly? Ugly love. I liked that one. Maybe if I read it now, since I mean, in my reading era, it wouldn't Mm. be as like dreadful, but it was like dreadful for me at the time. I don't know why. Oh my God. Mm. I I mean, I don't think it's like the greatest book to ever exist. I think I was just like, this is it. I think that's how I felt at (laughs) the end. Yeah, Yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Because didn't you read one that was like really good right before it or something? No, but I read the the next Colleen Hoover book I read was Verity and that one was so good to me. So I was like, wait, I like her again. (laughs) <laughs> so she's back she's back in the roster um okay well if you don't have anything else to share i, I don't think s- you. suppose we can move right on <laughs> okay we probably should to this day in history i will blast through these okay. the, I, I was writing these on the plane and i was like oh, damn okay but this is when it starts to get good again because uh, like i said the last time like around the holidays is when they start releasing all the movies and like right. new, not new music but like new movies come out so it's like go see with your family on thanksgiving yeah it's so, like we've got a lot and like oh and you're the B-days? you're a Christmas movie gal. Yeah. Only two Christmas movies today. Well, oh. there was like a few, but like Lifetime ones, I'm like, I'm not including oh, those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no need. Okay. Frozen 2. Oh my God. Co- Iconic. Coco. <gasps> so good. Cried. The original Adams Family movie. Okay. 1991, the year we were born. Oh God, that's why I'm Wednesday Adams all the time. doing the remake. <laughs> I know, the Wednesday Adams show. I'm so excited. Or is it a movie? I don't, I really don't know. I think it's a show on Netflix, which I'm very excited for. Although I'm wondering why it didn't come out like during Halloween. I love Jenna. Yeah, it'll be really good. Um, Very excited about that, which I thought was like so current too. I'm like, how timely is this? I know. Um, Toy Story, (gasps) Beauty and the Beast. What? I know. Um, Hunger Games Catching Fire. I I love that. Back to the Future 2. Never saw it. Me neither, but I just think it's like pretty iconic. It is iconic. (laughs) Just, we just haven't seen it. And then I haven't thought about this movie forever. Dallas Buyers Club. I've never heard of that. What? Yeah, I've never heard of that. It's the one with Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto. Uh, <laughs> Jared, Leto. Jared Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto when it's like during the AIDS epidemic. No. Oh, you should watch. Is it like a drama? Uh-huh. Okay, I'd probably like it. I'll watch um, it on the airplane. <laughs> it came out in 2013. Oh, during the Vine times. It's like a, like a little tearjerker too. Okay, I love that. I have to watch movies like that on the plane. Yeah. And then for birthdays, Baby Ariel. How old oh my think, god! How old do you think baby is now? <laughs> Ten. Um, <laughs> yeah, like how, she was, like, that's how old she was when we started. I feel. I know. Mm, I'm gonna say twenty. Twenty two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Haley Bieber. Twenty four. Oh, oh my god! When I no, she's twenty five, turning oh. twenty six today. For some reason, I was like, she's at least twenty seven. No, I knew she she's was like young, a full baby. Yeah. She is, know, but I just ass- baby yeah. Haley. <laughs> yeah, baby Ariel and baby Haley have birthday. Um, Scarlett Johansson, Cody Co. Cody, Mark Ruffalo, Cody seventy eight, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh my God, like, can you believe? Um, Jamie Campbell Bauer. He's um this famous birthdays list. Like, I know. <laughs> if I was Cody Co, I'd be like, holy shit. Uh, I know. And then um, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Dacray Montgomery, he is also in Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Which I thought was so crazy. I was like, oh my God, co-stars, same birthday. Yeah, that's cute. How fun. Even though like he wasn't really in this new season mm-hmm. Tea. with Jamie Campbell, but. Tea. And that's that on that. Okay. You guys, well, if you're exciting. curious about their ages, you can Google. Yeah. <laughs> or you can like guess like I do and then look it up. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Um, okay. And then for news, uh, started with the AMAs. We're just oh. going to run through all of the awards Taylor Swift won. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Artist of the year. Yep. Favorite music video, All Too Well. Favorite female pop artist. Favorite pop album. Favorite, which are both red. Yep. Um, a f- favorite country artist. Favorite country album, also red. It's funny because yesterday TJ was like, oh, Taylor Swift won an AMA for pop album, red. And I was like, huh? And I was like, that album, like to me leans more like, her country roots and it's like edging pop. Okay, yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, that's interesting. And so then when I saw this today, I was like, 
okay so she won them both yeah but i'm like oh my god the country artist must have been so mad i know <laughs> like brand new albums they've been working on in hers is she's just like the same shit that she i know <laughs> god i was live for it though i was like laughing by myself because i was just like oh, watching no. them upstairs and i was like what if she was in every category it was like best rock R&B. album <laughs> no it was like latina uh latina whatever yeah. and i was like taylor swift yeah. like, it's, it's like, like an like, snl skit. i was just gonna say that it's like an well, snl the way you skit. said it is like how they um announced uh, cast members yeah 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 featuring thompson yeah. musical guest taylor yeah. swift um and then we'll give a little nod to harry he won favorite pop artist and favorite pop song oh for yeah as it was i did so see that and he wasn't king he wasn't there which was sad because people were like oh my god he's re- on tour still what he posted something today he and needs it was to like take a so, break <laughs> in like a different country and i was like harry that's sad because a lot of people were hoping though. for another little convo like it happened at the Grammys with Taylor and Harry. Oh yeah, maybe it's an old pick. Let me see. Why? Do, why can't I find his Instagram account? Did he block? He blocked me? you. <laughs> he saw the. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I saw it today. Yeah. Oh wait. I don't know. It just says love on tour Guadalajara November twenty twenty two. So it doesn't have the exact date, but I just oh. assumed it was from like it's like today. another residency <laughs> in Guadalajara. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just uh, like, um, you're no, making a billion dollars. Literally, here. I'm like, take a break. No, for real. <laughs> um. Okay. That was that for the AMAs. Everything else, I feel like, was like, okay, good for you. Yeah. MGK won uh, best like rock artist or whatever. Saw and that. Honestly, loved his fit. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was like, you're a freak, and I'm it, here for it's it. It's funny because as he was walking up, I was like, oh, no one can like hug him. <laughs> An ideal outfit. Well, yeah. actually, I do love a hug. But like, but if you, it's like annoying people at that kind of thing, how do you sit though? Well, he was sitting, and uh, uh, Lionel Richie was next to him, and I was like, <laughs> lol, how is he gonna like? I don't know. I think how it was, did he sit? Was I don't it think only on the back. I feel like it was, side? I don't know, but he definitely was sitting, but I was like, you have to be really careful not to like poke someone. I doubt they're like actually sharp, but. I also the, I only knew that the AMAs were happening last night because my entire Instagram feed was influencers at the event. Oh yes. Like every I know. TikToker I in follow LA. and yeah. like a bunch of other social media people. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. And I'm like, can How? we go <laughs> <laughs> that, but also like invite the, people on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and whatever who are like actually musicians. No, for real. <laughs> I'm like, I these know. people don't do any music at I all. I know, but they just want them to promote it. So. Totally. So whatever. And like, on, like so fun for them. Yeah. Like not hitting on them whatsoever, but. Yeah, I remember the like, year I went to the VMAs. I was like, <gasps> yeah, it was so like, fun. And it was through fine. Oh yeah. When did I, I go? Think. YouTube. We, cause we you went, went, oh you yeah. You went a different time. Mm-hmm. I think you were like. I went two different times. We went in New York and then you, I think you went, I went, or did you go to the movie awards here? Oh, cause you, you were know, like someone's guest. I don't remember at all. But one year I, I went with Ariel or I'm pretty sure it was the, I feel like I remember you holding like a popcorn thing. I don't remember. It doesn't you know matter. Me, I don't, I don't have any memories. Um, okay. <laughs> and then some news we have Kanye and Trump are back on Twitter and Kanye's okay, second tweet how exciting. Back was Shalom. Cause he's an absolute piece of garbage. He said, Shalom. Yep. He his first tweet back was like testing, testing, like seeing if I'm back on Twitter, and then his tweet uh, immediately after that was Shalom. Oh my god! The thing that bothered me was okay. Elon Musk tweeted a poll, and he was like, "Should I let Trump back on Twitter?" Oh, stop. So I've that like was a been poll. so far out of okay. like what's been happening. This, so he said that, and uh, like a lot, most of it was yes, and so he let it back on Twitter. But I was like, okay, but I feel like majority <sighs> of people that are like, if you take basic like statistics, you know that. If you're following Elon Musk, which I follow Elon yeah. Musk, but I'm not I'm not a Trump supporter, but like if you're a Trump supporter, you're probably following Elon Musk. So it's going to be so skewed and then he let him back on. I also feel like so many people who follow Elon are like really trolly types too yes. and so it's like, like for yeah, the law. Yeah. It's like oh bring Trump back on because it's silly. 100%. Um, Twitter, I, I'm very interested to see like what's going to happen yeah, within the know. next like few weeks, uh, but I feel like he's just creating like a real like <laughs> cesspool of garbage it's just really weird <laughs> and it's and, it's fucking horrible what he's doing to like all those people who have like put their heart and soul into this company i and, know like, i know i feel terrible for them and um real loser vibes very big loser vibes also everyone yesterday or the day before was like this is like twitter is going away tonight or something i don't know everyone was like convinced that twitter was like I don't know. I feel like that always happens. I just like, don't know if I would care. I don't think I would care. I mean, it would be weird because it's been such a part of my life since 2009. Uh, uh, no, totally. But, but it would like be not the same. No, it's not. I don't, I literally just tweet, treat, tweet, <laughs> treat, tweet. I treat Twitter like 
not a diary, but I'll just like say whatever I want now. Like I used to be like, oh, it has to be funny. Yeah. You know, that's like, only, Twitter. I remember that, but like, I just like open it. Twitter's now like my last app I'll open if so, I've gone through everything. And I'm like, yeah. oh, well, what's left? Cause it's just like, Twitter's like really toxic. Everyone on there is so mean. I know. Not like to me, but like. It's just a negative, a negative place. Yeah. And it's like, uh, just bad. It just like brings me down. Yeah. Um, okay. And then other big news, Harry Styles mm. and Olivia allegedly are on a break or have broken up. Okay. What does on a break really mean? Let's ask Monica or <laughs> Rachel and Roz. Oh yeah, it was Rachel Rose. I was like on your page. I was like, yeah, Monica Chandler. Yeah, Monica. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just like a subtle way of saying we're breaking up, but. Okay, you know what's interesting about this? I haven't looked into this whatsoever because I'm just like, no one has confirmed it from the source. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Um, however, before I saw this news, those TikToks of Harry blowing a kiss to Kendall. Oh yes. At the concert. Yes. Were all over my For You page. Yes. And I was like, are we on a break because we're rekindling with Kenny? Kendall and Kendall and Devin Booker apparently <gasps> have been separated or not separated, but like broke up a couple months ago and someone saw oh. him on Raya <gasps> according to Duma. Well, I think we have ourselves some tea and honestly, I don't think I would hate it. That'd be cool. I would like the rekindling. And then hopefully he would be on the next season of Kardashian. <laughs> One could, I would <laughs> literally do anything for a Harry Styles reality show. Like anything. If you watch the One episode. Direction movies, like they are so goofy and silly and fun. Like yeah. I would love that. Uh, it would be, yeah. Just one episode. Uh, yeah. Oh, another thing from the AMAs that I did see on TikTok when I couldn't fall asleep last night was when Chris Brown. Oh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown yes. won an award, which yep. is, so crazy to me that he's even still like allowed to be on those like, like nominated or anything. Yeah. yeah. And um, he did not, he was not there to accept the award and Kelly Rowland accepted it on his behalf. But when they announced the winner, everyone in the audience like gasped and booed. Mm -hmm. It was like half boo. Yeah. Because they were like, huh? Um, and for those of you who don't know, he literally beat the shit out of Rihanna mm -hmm. in like 2009 or something mm -hmm. and like still has been able to pursue a career well, and it's and like, like been speculated he's industry. still doing that yeah to, women. to other people yeah um and kelly Rowland like told the crowd to relax yeah she was like calm down calm down she's yeah. like he's my and then such she a good was friend. like thank you for like making all of this music and like doing all of this Very and weird. it was like real icky yeah real weird vibes that was really weird i was watching it as it was happening and i was like everyone was booing <laughs> oh i yeah i didn't like that at all yeah. i just saw it on tiktok i can't if I, yeah, if I was there, I would have gasped and booed. It's just like, what? And to then like double down and be like, shut up. It's just crazy how it's like picking and choosing mm -hmm. who's allowed to do like be, be, a, be a part of things like that because because it happened in 2009, people weren't as like woke. And, you know, for women, it was just like, holy shit, that's fucked up that that yeah. happened. And then it kind of just passed. But if it, it happened also, now, well, it would it, be like- It was, holy shit maybe it happened maybe yes even and though also, you like, literally see a do? photo of her like it looks like she got literally brutally attacked yes. on like the street by like people wolves. with bats <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, it was bad um and, and people, i'm sure you've seen it yeah, but it's just continue like your thought oh i was just saying but if it happened last week he'd Done literally forever. be Jail. off spotify off of everything yeah. i mean it would be complete so like why i mean I, I know i mean i understand that times change and like things get more important as time goes on but, but like, it should have been important then and it should hold over now yeah so it's very fucked up and i'm also shocked that he's like nominated for anything because what i didn't even know he was making music or i didn't anything either at all. i didn't either but that is so icky to me and i can't believe that they allow that yeah. truthfully it's weird though because i'm pretty sure they're like <clears throat> friendly rihanna and him mm -hmm. oh interesting but I mean, that doesn't mean what he did was okay. And that yeah. like, just because she forgave him, he should be allowed back in the space. Like be allowed to walk the earth. I think, bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. It's... Um, and that is all I have for little newsy. Okay. I don't know if you like saw anything or there was anything like you were dying to chat about, but that's so. like really all I. I mean, I get all my news from Twitter or TikTok. So whatever you saw, I saw. Okay, perfect. Um, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, I sadly did not i am two weeks behind now with like all of my television shows oh i figured um so didn't watch any of that we did however get netflix at the hotel which was amazing and on friday we watched the entire new season of dead to me <gasps> is it good yeah i really like it. it's I need like to... sad oh 
okay. So the thing for me, you know, I'm like emotional anyway, Yeah. but I think the added factor is that Christina Applegate, she, I think right before they started filming got diagnosed with MS. Yeah. So she filmed the whole season with MS and like going through that. And uh, I don't want to like give too much away, but like a big plot point of this season is like, someone being sick and like taking care of each other. And I was like, that oh, fuck. must like hit so close to home. And like, it makes it so much more like raw and real mm. in terms of like the emotions that people are showing on camera. I'm like, these are probably like real emotions, like yeah. based on her experience yeah. in real life. So oh God, I thought it, yeah. So I was like, just so <laughs> sad because I was like, oh my God, like, and her just like acting through all of that. She it's, Amazing. She's like yeah. such an amazing actress. I, I can't know. even believe it. She's got a star on Hollywood yeah. Boulevard. A queen. That's the news I wanted to As share. she deserves. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched. I need to watch White Lotus. You probably haven't watched it like no. in a couple of weeks. I haven't I, watched Salt Lake. Uh, I think I watched last week. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I watched. I think we watched last week of White Lotus, but no reality. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I watched the Kardashians. It was the Met Gala episode finally with Pete. Nope, didn't see. But it was still just like. Okay, whatever. Boring. Yeah, and here's the thing. I saw a TikTok about this, so like I'm not taking credit for this, but someone was like, the reason, like if you, you might be thinking this new Kardashian show on Hulu is boring. And she's like, the reason is because there is- I too. Yeah, she was like, there's no drama. Yeah. Like anytime something happens- to me. I probably did. I think you did. Um, like even the Tristan thing, they don't like confront Tristan on camera or like confront the sisters about anything. It's just real life. And it's like, okay, I get it. But like, we want a little drama. No, it's literally like my vlogmas where I'm just like, I'm doing all these (laughs) things, but don't show it. (laughs) Yeah. Because I would like always be with you filming for our channel. Like that's literally what it's like. Yeah. Are you going to do vlogmas? I think so. Well, this might be easier because we're not like vloggy vloggy as much. So maybe easier. I know it's weird though. We'll see. I know I don't know what I feel. Done. I feel like I have to. It's like a tradition. A tradition, and I think it's because I love Christmas so much, and I love sharing that holiday joy. Yeah, that I'm just fun. like, let's fucking do it, bitch. Yeah, no, it's a good time. Um, oh, yeah, maybe I'll watch Kardashians. I'm like, I can't believe I'm Neat. sliving right now. You got it. <laughs> sliving. <laughs> You're like, you want to go out? Speaking of sliving, I saw a TikTok last night. Um, did like a Paris Hilton special come out or something? Huh. I saw a clip. It was of Paris and Kathy talking about Paris's wedding. And Kathy was being like a major B about the wedding being like, who does your husband think he is trying to plan a wedding? Like, like before the wedding? plan weddings. Yeah. Well, she had a wedding show. Okay. That, maybe that's it. Yeah. Then. yeah. That's I got to watch because I was like, oh, no, you'd probably like it. I started it. And I was like, Kathy. Not, yeah. It was- it's like what she doesn't show you on the Real Housewives of yeah. Beverly Hills that all of the other ladies like want you to see. Yeah. I was like, Oh, she's probably pissed that this is on <laughs> television. No, that came out a while ago. I'm shocked okay, you didn't watch it. Watch. That's like very up I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, I think it was on, I don't it know. Might have been I on Discovery. Pl- no, I think it was on Hulu or something. Paris. No, I know. Paris, not Discovery Not Plus. Sliving on Discovery Plus. <laughs> That's what it's called. Sliving, sliving on, on Discovery, Discovery Plus. <laughs> okay, you know what? Discovery Plus is my- I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Discovery Plus. Um, yeah, that's all I did. Okay. For, for TV. All right. Also, I don't think I watch anything. After the, so. um, <laughs> this is like so funny. After the hospital on Thursday night, we came back into the room and like literally put the TV on and Vanderpump Rules was <gasps> on. Stop. In like the American version. And it's so funny because all the commercials were in Spanish. Oh, funny. Was it like a good season? Yes. It was like prime time uh, season two. Best. Like, see, you should, I'm glad you got on the plane. <laughs> No, it was literally. really for that reason <laughs> and that reason only. So I could watch Vanderpump Rules in Mexico City. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, should we do Emma the Asshole then? Yeah. All right. As I promised, I have one that related, but I forgot what we were talking about. So we'll see. <laughs> Am I the asshole for making a post about my daughter's favorite celebrity being rude to us? Oh, My daughter and I were recently on vacation. We spent the day in an area that's known to have a lot of rich slash famous people. And towards the end of the day, we saw one of my daughter's favorite celebrities, we'll call her A, walking out of a store. I know, I wish we knew who it was. Bitch, if you're gonna post it on Facebook, you might as well post it on Reddit. I know. My daughter ran to the store, but when she got near A, she was stopped by A's security. They said that A's there with her daughter for her daughter's birthday and wants to focus on her daughter. My daughter was very upset because she's been a fan of A for a very long time. So she tried again for a picture, but was turned away. My daughter was crushed. So later that night, I made a post talking about my experience <gasps> with A. I'm like, is it Ariana Grande? But then she had a kid. Oh, so yeah. no. Ooh. 
She's uh, spilling the tea. Yeah. How uh, how she wouldn't let anyone go near her or her daughter and the fact that her security was rude and not her, her not willing to stop for a couple seconds for a picture. I understand it's her daughter's birthday, but a one minute interaction with the fan isn't going to ruin her day. And if it does, that girl needs to learn. The world doesn't revolve around her. The post... The post ended up getting a lot of attention and a lot of people actually said my daughter and I were being entitled for expecting I a literally, to interrupt. I was immediately going to say that. Yeah. Uh, her daughter's birthday for Good. everyone who wants a picture. My husband also saw the post and said he couldn't believe that I would bash her for trying to spend the day with her daughter. I'm not trying to bash her for spending the day with her daughter, but she wouldn't be where she is without <gasps> her fans. So I think she at least owes it to them oh to God. take a picture. This lady... And yeah, here's no. the thing. I feel like a lot of people don't understand this. If you stop, not like us, not like we're super famous or anything, but like it is us. <laughs> like we stop for one picture, it yeah. doesn't stop. Yeah. But like celebrities like that, like if Ariana Grande was at a grocery store and her security allowed someone to take a photo with her, that would mean that everyone else would be able to take a photo with her. And mm-hmm. it would probably be like a two hour ordeal. Yeah. It's also just like you mentioned she was on vacation with her daughter so it's like you have to assume if like your daughter wherever you guys were traveling knew who she was that wherever she lives which i'm assuming is either los angeles or new york city she's getting like fans asking to take pictures of her up the wazoo and like this is her time to take a break from that and time to spend with her child and i don't think that it's wrong to ask for privacy every once in a while no i think it's good i think you'll go crazy if you don't like you need to get the fuck over that that's so rude and entitled and like you're obviously not taking her mental well-being and happiness into account you're just being selfish because your child likes them and like you know what she doesn't need a picture she'll have that story forever and like this generation (laughs) you know it's like oh cool like i got to see it and i can tell people and like you have that memory and like sometimes that just has to be enough yeah like one time i saw snooki and (laughs) yeah and um what's his name the dj Uh, Polly d Polly d in the next to the house and i couldn't go up to them I didn't write anything. I know. I know I can't say hi to them. Yeah. It's fine. I was mere feet away from Maddie Healy last night. Oh, yes. You think I was literally saying- And now you're here on my couch. (laughs) Devastating. Oh, the times change. (laughs) Devastating. I know. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, But like, you just have to like really respect people's boundaries and not hold them accountable or like try to- like they don't owe you yeah, a like photo. Yeah, like try to badmouth them for just trying to be normal. Yeah. Like I could see if she came up to you and was like, fuck you and your yeah, kid. Yeah. But for her to just have her security be like, oh no, sorry, she can't take pictures. Yeah. Like she's spending the day with her daughter. And then for you to press it again and mm-hmm. then have the audacity to be like, on oh, the internet. she's the bitch. Yeah. Like get a life. It's just unrealistic. And I also, I like I've seen videos of Harry Styles like walking <laughs> in New York or something. And someone's like, can I have a photo? He's like, I'm so sorry, not right yeah. now. And that's fine. And like people respect that. Yeah. It's like, you should respect that. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't agree more. She's yeah. She just talked to me and said, are you ever coming home? <laughs> oh yeah, you've been here for so long. It's like been two hours. It's been two and a half. Well, you got here at two, it's 5'10". He he gets real clingy after trips. Oh, because like, you're together spend, so like, much. Waking moment that, well, and you like, saved his life, so he should be even clingier. It's so true. <laughs> um, but I love it. Are you ever coming back? <laughs> no, are you ever coming home? <laughs> like it looks so sad the way it's written too. <laughs> In the photo? It looks like he's crying. Oh, he's sleeping on a plane. <laughs> Wait, oh, this one though. Oh, when he's crying during Paramore. Yeah, that, that was, was so sweet. everything to me. Oh my God. like yeah. Paramore is my heart and I was so excited to go. He's only ever seen them once before with me. We went to like a uh, New York show years ago and it was like, right before I feel like they took like a break. Oh. And um, I, I feel like it was really like weird energy. I think it was when Haley was like going through a ton. Mm-hmm. And so it was like weird energy. But this show was so fucking good. She looks like she's having the most fun in every concert now. A hundred percent. Like watching her, I literally was just smiling from ear to ear the (laughs) whole entire time. Like this is what I like live for literally. And then I just like look over and it was during the misery business thing. And I was like literally all day, I was like, I wonder if she's going to like bring someone on stage during the festival. Cause like obviously like I die for that content. Yeah. It's my whole TikTok feed. <laughs> I like get endorphins from watching other people be like Picked. so happy. Oh my God. Yeah. And so when it like started happening, I was like freaking out. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, people are coming on stage. Like this is going to be the cutest shit ever. And so that's when he was Aww. crying was like during that. Cause it's like cute. Just like so nice. And then it was like such a juxtaposition. Cause we watched that like wicked fun 
show and then Nezrin wanted to go watch the Arctic Monkeys and I, I <laughs> literally like, was so. like I need to leave this guy's a douchebag oh yeah he oh my god he oh I couldn't even I, I listened to like three songs I was like please You're like I can't watch this after Paramore yeah no he's no. like so serious yeah god um, but I don't know how I got up. Oh, the picture of TJ crying. TJ was bawling his eyes out during Paramore and it was really wholesome and adorable. I love that. Um, okay, here's mine. Someone sent this to our email. So oh, okay. I was like, oh, I'll read it. I have not read it yet. Okay. But the title enticed me. Okay. Am I the asshole for hiding my boyfriend's dog to prove a point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My 23 boyfriend, Hank, in quotes, uh... 26 has a dog ladybird and we have a son together bobby three months he has had ladybird since before we got together about five years ago i'm actually allergic to dogs but i make do because i know ladybird means a lot to him and i've grown to love her as if a <laughs> ladybird is a made-up name and i just feel like she could have made up like <laughs> Oreo. Like literally not anything but ladybird. <laughs> ladybird. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to have to say that a million times during this story. Okay. Um, I know ladybird means a lot to him. I'm just going to say lady okay. means a lot to him. And I've grown to love her as if I had her my whole life. We both have full-time jobs and split the housework just fine. But when it comes to Bobby, I feel like Hank treats lady better sometimes. Hank will come home and go straight to lady to play and cuddle and talk to her, but he never stops off to see how Bobby is doing. If he's eaten, <laughs> I'm like, mm. <laughs> If he's eaten or if he's had a bad day in daycare or anything, I assume he's thinking he's with mama, so everything's good, but I feel it's not too much to ask for an acknowledgement when he first gets home. Last month on Hank's day off, I had Bobby out of daycare since he was sniffly and I didn't want to risk it, so Hank watched him. When I came home from work, Hank was watching TV and I couldn't find Bobby. <laughs> Hank was being blase about it, saying he's around somewhere playing. Oh my God. A three-month-old? Three-month-olds can't play. Oh play with God. what? <laughs> he's around somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I left I the door open. Yeah. He's outside. I was about to call the police because I saw the back door open with one of those bulk snack boxes by it when a neighbor that lives three houses down came by to drop Bobby off. She told me he came through their doggy door <gasps> and was trying to get into their daughter's room. This baby can't crawl. Oh my God. Uh, this can't. How old? He's three months old. Can, I don't know ages no. and crawling. <laughs> okay no, wait continue i want to hear what no fucking way <laughs> did this baby crawl down the street through a doggy door at three months old down the street i need to google how old when they crawl <laughs> i feel like at <laughs> least six months how old do babies unless it's like a high functioning baby just came out crawling how old do babies crawl how old do babies crawl? To walk at six months old. Okay. I'm a fucking baby genius. Okay, what? <laughs> so are they lying? Oh, it says at six months old, baby will rock back and forth on hands and knees. This is a building block to crawling at nine months. Okay. They typically crawl. Three months? Crawling in a dog door? <laughs> Do you think the guy just like They're dropped talking the about the up? baby, right? <laughs> I think so. Bobby out of daycare since he was sniffly. Yeah. Hank watched him. I almost called the police because I saw the back door open with one of those bulk snack boxes by it when a neighbor that lives three houses down came by to drop Bobby off. She told me he came through their doggy door and was trying to get in their daughter's room. <laughs> Are we sure this is a child? They have a five-year-old daughter. Oh, five F daughter? Five female. Five years wide? old female, I think. Or five F daughter. Oh, okay, five-year-old uh, daughter. <laughs> five-year-old daughter that Bobby plays with. How? What are they playing? <laughs> this thing is like being bottle-fed. It's like still in a little like fucking bottle. Like yeah. what are you talking about? It's okay. I think this is police duty <laughs> to be called. Bobby plays with a few times a week. <laughs> Obviously, I was freaked out, but thankful he went to a safe place. Huh? Okay. I yelled at Hank for not watching him, and he told me to calm down because it all worked out fine. <laughs> Bro, your baby could have got run over by a fucking car. But, like, it didn't I know. leave the house. I don't understand. 
this lady. No, it did. No, I'm saying like, there's no way. Oh. Like, I don't think this can be real. Well, unless the husband dropped off the kid and was like, bring it back later and say it crawled through the dog oh, door. Oh, yeah. Because I don't care about this kid. I only care yeah. about the dog. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so I waited for things to calm down. <sighs> okay. And then a few days ago, I snuck home early on Hank's day off and grabbed Lady and gave her to the same neighbor to watch. I made a big show of coming in noisily after and purposely left the back door open. Things were cool for a bit until he tried to calling for Lady. I just kept playing along until he noticed the door. He freaked out saying I wasn't careful and that Lady could be killed out there. He literally <laughs> okay, ran well. in just... I don't believe this. It doesn't sound right, especially the crawling thing, but. Yeah, um, he literally ran in just his shorts, no shirt or shoes, outside screaming her name and freaking out. During the time I texted my neighbor to start walking the dog down, he saw her as he was about to get in his car and grabbed her and went inside. He yelled at me, calling me irresponsible, saying she could have been stolen or killed. I asked how he thought I felt when I couldn't find our literal child. He said it didn't compare and Bobby was just at the neighbors and we live in a safe neighborhood. So nothing would have happened. I honestly didn't have anything to say to that. I packed a bag for Bobby and we stayed at a hotel for a bit. I'm checking out tomorrow, but I am still angry. Hank's been texting me saying I'm childish, but I think he's not taking this seriously enough. Friends oh are God. mixed. Let it go. Or am I right to be mad? This is unhinged. This is like such a deeper issue than this the situation. Baby the dog. Like, okay, it's fucked up that the baby got out. If this, is, it's, let's just pretend this is true. It's fucked up the baby got out and it's like crawled through the a baby dog door. Miraculously got on its hind feet <laughs> and, and walked to the neighbor's door. Went outside <laughs> through the snow, <laughs> through uphill for twenty minutes, and you know found just, a dog door. Yeah, walked banged through. down, banged down the five year old dog daughter's door to get her to play There's with him. There's just no way. But okay, if it happened, <laughs> yes, that's extremely fucked up. However, it's also fucked up to be like, oops, the dog got out. Also to like- To him a lesson. <laughs> to think a three month old knows like- has awareness where they're like, oh, here's the neighbor's house. <laughs> There's just no way this is true. Going through the dog There's door. just no way. Like, I don't even know if this is worth even deciding. Discussing. No, it's, just it's, like- it's honestly like a hilarious like story that they made up to try to see what people would say. Yeah, it's so stupid. But like when you're gonna do <laughs> something. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, 3M, three months. Like if it was years, I'd be yeah, like, then oh, I'd yeah. be like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, are the replies like, I don't know, because someone emailed it to us. Okay, I'll have to, I'll look it up later. I'll, but I'm sure people are literally like, huh, you're literally dumb. There, Yeah, I feel like everyone's gonna be like, I think you're lying. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> I, I yeah, I get, hypothetically, say the kid was three. Okay, okay. And could do those things. Well, the problem is like, the the issue is deeper than like playing a game playing games with each other and like letting the dog out and like showing him a lesson. I don't think that should have happened either. I think it should have been like, totally. you're a horrible parent like, for letting the you... door open and not caring that the, I mean, that's like, that's what it is. Yeah. You shouldn't like also put your dog in danger. Yeah, the dad's giving like postpart, like when moms get postpartum and like are like- Like I'm not sight. attached. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what it was giving to me, which I don't know if, if it's three months old, I don't know if dads can get postpartum, but I'm sure people definitely get like postpartum from like their life. Yeah, I'm sure. And, like, I mean, women, obviously it's a very real thing. Yeah. Maybe it is for men too. Not I that they like know. let their kids <laughs> walk outside. And... Sometimes. <laughs> oh, well, It can be know. like really bad. Yeah. It's just so sad. I know. Um, We really, women go through it all. Yeah. But um, yeah, he either is like suffering some from some sort of like postpartum or loss or literally just fucking hates children and- maybe like never wanted one or he's just a liar <laughs> what do you mean like he was like oh it crawled away and got oh, through the dog yeah. door when like he dropped he, like, it off, dropped at it off in a different state yeah <laughs> oops it, i don't know it must have ran on the interstate yeah. i don't know the freeway or whatever you guys call uh, it here. it reminds a, me of i don't know what sitcom it was but it was some sitcom i just remember this for some reason and the wife was going out of town and she was like our child is about to start walking and i swear to you you have to get it on camera so i can watch it and I don't know what happened, but they ended up bringing, the dad ended up bringing the, okay. the kid to a bar 
like during the day or something. And so he's like, oh my God, he's walking. So he started filming the kid walking, but then realized the wife would be pissed. And so he found a friend that could like green screen it. So it wouldn't be at a bar, but he didn't watch it before he showed his wife. And he was like, so excited. He's like, we were at the park and he started walking. Look, and they played it. And it's just a green screen. Well, it's a park, but when he crawls over to like a lake and then starts walking on the water. <laughs> So it's like clearly so fake. Wait, that is very funny. I know. What is it in? I have no idea. It's just like a random memory I have from like some sitcom. I need to watch that. Yeah, I'm sure I can find it if I just Google. That sounds like it would be a funny show. Yeah. It's not like, um, it's always sunny. No. Okay. It I'm wasn't just thinking that. like a bar. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. I'll find it and I'll let you know. And then I'll. That's really. I'll let you guys know on Patreon or whatever. Be but, silly. Yeah. But. I mean, this episode has been an hour and a half. I have to pee. So bad. And Erin needs to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. My husband is calling for me. Yeah. Her husband says, are you ever coming home from war? Are you ever coming home? And. Oh, is that the other one? Did she meow? No, it sounded like sneezing. Yeah. She's sneezing a lot. She's just a little baby. The it's other cold. one. <laughs> the other one. Is that the other one? <laughs> no, she's so oh, sweet. Frank. I'm so sad how sick she is. Um, but yeah, like I said, we have a Frank, Patreon. You have a poopy butthole, just like Whitey used to, because you're so <laughs> okay, fat. Don't, not to call him out on the podcast. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's always a, a space. Bowl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash onlyfriends. We upload episodes very early. This will hopefully come out Monday because we're recording pretty oh, late. But um yeah. it should come out Monday um or Tuesday. Usually it's Monday, and then audio comes out Wednesday. Video on YouTube comes out on Thursday on our Only Friends oh. YouTube channel. And we also have another podcast called Good Influences, which comes out every Tuesday. And it's oh, we need very to post fun. on Instagram. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's on yeah. my to-do list. Okay. Get to it before you start sliving away sleeping. No, I'm making it till at least 8 p.m. Yeah, you gotta. I need to go to my to-do. I have to like go home and go through my emails. Oh my God, work, 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 work. Oh Lord. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.